Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. yo -Oh. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 657, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back. I got a surprise for you. Look who's here this morning. It's Addison. Say good morning to everybody. Good morning. The date is August the 4th, 2020. It's a Tuesday. That means it's a terrific Tuesday. Sissy, remember what a terrific Tuesday means? That if you think you're going to have a good day, and you say you're going to have a good day, and then when you're in the middle of that day, something bad's going to happen. It's going to upset you. Like, nope, we're having a terrific Tuesday. And at the end of the day, you know what you realize? What? You had a terrific Tuesday. Seriously, that's how that works. So it's also a work day. We got work to do. You ready to do it? First things first. I'm still the realist. Do you know what else I am? What's that say? Coach. Got my whistle on. We had we had football practice last night, didn't we? Yeah. It was a good practice too, wasn't it? Oh, you. She left. She went and had Hunan. Went and had yeah. Chinese food while we were all working hard. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> onto our real talk. What the f? WTF is a waymish? All right. You need that one again. WTF is a waymish. Well, WTF and waymish. Those are uh, acronyms, right? I think you know what WTF stands for. Do you, sissy? No. What the fudge, right? Um, and Waymish, ready for this? Why are you making it so hard? Think about that. Why are you making it so hard? A Waymish. And uh, giving credit where credit's due, I got this from uh, somebody that was in my life for a minute, like 10, 12 years ago. And they, the first time they threw that, I'm like, what's that mean? They're like, a Waymish. Why are you making it so hard? And so, um, yeah, they, they were like, hey, uh, they, they forwarded me an email. I looked at them like, well, what does that word mean? And they're like, oh, they, you know, they're asking, why are you making it so hard? So I picked that up, right? Like a little ninja nugget that I got along the way. But this morning I was on a call with some way missions, like more than one, right? And so unfortunately, it's part of life that you have people that they're like chief no officers. They really don't bring a whole lot of value. The only thing they do or are empowered to do is say, no, I don't think we should do that. And so... They are not easy to deal with, right? Especially if you're the kind of person who wants to get things done. And then you have all these people coming behind and nitpicking what you say and grabbing one word. And it's exhausting and it angers me and all of those things. But you just have to power through. I told a guy on the phone this morning after the call. He's like, hey, how you doing? I said, I'm annoyed. But I've come to the realization I'd rather be annoyed than unemployed. Let's do our thank yous, right? Number one, God is good. Has God been good to us in the good times and the bad, says he? Of course. Thankful for Sam, Maddie, and Jack. Daddy duty started back up at around noon yesterday. Kids have been here for, you know, we had a great night. But next on the list is Sambo, which is the godfather's brother who gave Jack, Jack like a whole box full of Paw Patrol toys, right? He's so happy. Thankful for number 11. Man, he didn't get to practice last night because he hurt his foot, but it just feels good being out there practicing. I'm thankful for the new things that are in my life. Right, like got a new opportunity I'm working on, uh, coaching, you know, football, being the head football coach, first time I've ever done that. So just a lot of new stuff that's always exciting, right? It's time to go. And as we know that if you like the new stuff that's coming in your life, you have to nurture that so you get some more of it. Uh, I'm thankful for inclusion. So this is important. So uh, on the football squad last year, there was a lot of complaining from the parents, myself included, that we weren't asked. Nobody was asked. Things were just done. And so one person was making a decision for, you know, 15, 20 kids and a whole bunch of parents. We're not running it that way this year. We had a lot of parents outside helping us out with drills uh, last night, and we're going to do it as a team. It takes a village. So uh, thankful for communication. I was able to reach out to a couple of the coach or the couple of the players, parents last night and just say, hey, look, in case you saw this at practice, this is what I'm thinking. We're going to push these kids and uh, make them try harder. Right. Thankful for the truth. So, uh, yeah, like I was in a situation where. You know, a way mish was standing in the way of something, and then I gave a healthy dose of the truth, and next thing you know, like, the truth will set you free. Thankful for good advice, right? Um, can't remember what good advice I was talking about. Maybe it was the way mish thing, but, you know, never heard it said good advice. And I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for what tomorrow brings. I'm thankful forever. With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a terrific Tuesday. Remember, if you think it's going to be a great day, and you say it's going to be a great day, and then you fight hard to make sure it's a great day, what do you think is going to happen, sis? Damn right, you're going to have a great day. All right, we'll see you later. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Love you guys. You can say goodbye, sis. Bye. Bye. We're stretching.